This is an electrical outlet. And this is a cell phone. When you plug one into the other, the phone starts to charge. But why? If you've thought about this at all, you've likely told yourself that the answer is electricity. But what is electricity? Maybe you've heard that electricity is the flow of electrons. But if that's true, then what is the point of this little box here? If all you need is a flow of electrons, then why not just hook up a wire and let the electrons flow? Well, this box, which is sometimes called a transformer, hides a lot of secrets. And today we're going to talk about one of those, which is the difference between alternating and direct current, and how we can use a capacitor to help transform one into the other. When you think about electricity, the kind of electricity you probably imagine is closest to direct current. Direct current is pretty much what it says, the direct flow of electrons from one place to another. This is how batteries work, and it's what your phone needs in order to charge. But what comes out of your wall is alternating current, or AC, and it doesn't work that way. If direct current is a steady flow of electrons, then alternating current alternates between providing a little bit of current and a lot of current. To your cell phone, that feels like taking a whole bunch of electrons at once. So one of the pieces that sits inside this little box is what's called a capacitor. A capacitor can be made of various things, but most commonly it's two plates of metal that are almost but not quite touching. This causes electrons to sort of pile up on one of the plates of metal until they start jumping across the gap. This has the net effect of creating a funnel for the electrons. When they get dumped in the front of the capacitor, they hang out until the capacitor is full, at which point they start trickling out the other side. Of course, if the capacitor ever empties out, then the electrons stop flowing. But that doesn't happen, because another batch of electrons is periodically getting dumped in the funnel. So the capacitor helps take an uneven flow and even it out. That's one step along the road to creating a nice flow of direct current for your phone. Now, why does the electricity arrive to your house that way? Well, that's a story for video number two.